We acknowledge that the sacred space on which we meet here at St. John's Turek is on the traditional land of the Bunwarong and Wurundjeri people and offer our respects to elders past, present and emerging. We recognize and respect the cultural heritage of this land and the ongoing work of reconciliation. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to celebrate the 125 years of Chibukli Girls College. It is a worthy occasion on many fronts. It is not only a momentous occasion for us as all girls of Chibukli, it is also a significant milestone in the history of women's education. We want to remember with pride the founding of our school in 1896. We want to thank God for enabling the realization for the need for women's education in an Anglican Christian environment given to a gentleman by the name of Mr. Alfred Hensman in the mid 1890s. Almost 75 years after our brothers at St. George's at their beginning, as women, we have much to celebrate. From then on, it has been a forward march. Through trials and triumph, we have come today to mark our 125th year. It is heartening to see that we have among us all girls and their families, all girls representing the OGA of New South Wales, children of all girls who have passed on, sponsors who generously helped us provide for children orphaned by war, our brothers from St. John's College, past pupils of other Jaffna schools, and representatives of other CMS schools in Sri Lanka. 
We are grateful to St. John's Anglican Church for allowing us to use this historic church for this service. Thank you for your cooperation in observing COVID protocols. After the service, we invite you to join us for a time of fellowship in the parish hall. Please continue to maintain social distancing, hand hygiene, and be safe. As we ponder on Chundukli's journey and give thanks to our Heavenly Father, let us proceed with our service to proclaim the glory of our Lord. to 
share the message of love, faith, and hope, witnessed all through the 125-year journey. Gracious God, we humbly acknowledge that you are the rock on which Chubik Rigas College was built and is continuing to stand on. It was your grace that guided the Church Missionary Society missionaries from England to answer the call to travel to the island called Ceylon. We thank you for Mrs. Mary Carter, our founder, with the vision for the young women of Jaffna to overcome the cultural barriers to progress and to move forward in life. Mighty God, we ask your blessings on the work in progress with academic excellence, extra curricular achievements, and strong Christian principles that defines the identity and gives the confidence for the young women to face the wider world. We pray that Chudukri Girls College will continue the journey to share the faith of our leaders and spread the message of salvation for generations to come. Heavenly Father, may this time of worship, followed by the time of fellowship, be pleasing to you and glorify your name. Amen. Let us now bow our heads in praise and thanks for our early beginnings, the founders, the visionary principles and personalities who gave up much to travel to Ceylon and devote, and devote their lives to our cause. We thank God for his faithfulness to them and answers to prayers. Our special thanks for the lives of the Reverend James Carter and Mrs. Mary Carter, who veered from customs and traditions, opening avenues of knowledge for generations of young Tamil girls. We thank you for the life and service of the beautiful vocalist, Miss Amy Goodchild, and for the accomplished German musician, Miss Annie Hoffengartner, the duo who progressed the school after the passing of Mrs. Carter. For Miss Sophia Lucinda Page, for her steadfast faith in your Lord during her devoted 27 year service as the longest serving principal. For the courageous Miss Northway, who was prepared to answer your call to serve wherever you sent her, even sailing to Sierra Leone during World War II. We praise you for Miss Northway's leadership of Chimbley Girls College to its current premises. Lord, we stand in awe today, realizing the depth of your love for us, the girls and women of Jaffna, so much so that you provided us with women of grace, fervent in faith, devoted, strong, wise, and courageous leaders to follow. Lord, we thank and glorify you for the life and witness of Miss Muriel Hutchins. Today we remember her first college song and rejoice in saying, there is a school in Jaffna that makes my heart to glow, to think I'm a pupil of the finest school I know. Lord, we thank you for indeed, in the words of Marjorie Carter, we are happy and blessed in the cloud of witnesses which we have been encompassed. We thank and praise you, O God. We remember our first national principal, Dr. Evangeline Mutama Tiliambala, for her leadership during the independence of Sri Lanka in 1948 and for setting goals for a new era. Lord, we thank you for her visionary challenge to us. Attempt great things, achieve great things. We thank you, Lord, for her successor, Ms. Sarah Mathai from Kerala, who was the principal for the next decade. She continued the high ideas of her predecessors and encouraged us to look up and ahead. We thank you for the very talented Miss Edith Kelk, who left the green pastures of Essex to spend, come and spend 28 years 
and be our vice principal and choir mistress, and for starting the tradition of Handel's Hallelujah Chorus from the Messiah for the Chulikuli St. John's Choir. We also remember Mrs. Saraswati Chelaya, who led the school with a strong vision for modernization in the 1960s through to the early 80s, and saw Chulikuli emerge as a strong, private, Christian school for girls. We are deeply grateful to you, Lord, for your wisdom and guidance to Mrs. Chilaya through these challenging years. Lord, we thank you for all our beloved teachers and non-academic staff. We thank you for giving them wisdom, strength, and vision to lay the foundations of academics, science, music, theater, the arts and sport that has led many girls to achieve great heights in these fields. We thank and praise you, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for your protection and preservation of Trinity Girls College during the 30 years of civil war. We thank you for the strength and wisdom you provided for Mrs. Pahma Jagrasinha, Mrs. Pushpa Rajaratna, and our present principal, Mrs. Nishyanti Tusidharan, to guide the school and maintain the ethos of a Christian community, even when these gentle women were placed in situations that we had never ever dreamt of facing. Lord, we thank you for your presence on the hallowed grounds of Chinookly Girls College, for those who needed refuge during those dark days of war. Lord, you were her light in the darkness. You were her strength amidst fear. Lord, you were her comfort when she grieved the death of her daughters, friends, and community. Lord, may we never forget your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your abounding love, mercy, and grace. We thank and praise you for all of We remember now our alma mater as she progresses through her 125th year. And we pray that students will excel in their strengths while persevering in their weakness. Lord, help them to understand Dr. Thilliam Balam's words. Be worthy of the faith, courage, and devotion of those who gave Chundikuli its life and spirit and its promise. Grow them to be confident women equipped to stand for what is right and do what is right in your sight. We pray that you will provide trusted teachers and advisors who can lead them be, to be change makers of this world and live out your promises. We pray that our school will always be adequately resourced with updated equipment, tools, and access to information so as to keep the students abreast of technology. We pray for competent teachers of English language, the sciences, commerce, maths, IT, the arts, and performing arts, so that students can better understand the world around them. We thank and praise you, O oh God. Lord, we pray as Chinookli forges ahead for vision for those who are in leadership positions. We cannot see the future, but we know who holds the future. And we are excited, Lord, for your guidance of the school and for endless possibilities for the generations of students to come. We pray that the school and its community will continue to hold fast to their faith in you and seek the things before them with not a look behind. We pray for the All Girls Associations of Australia, Canada, the USA, 
Colombo, the UK, and around the world for the Holy Spirit to move, to empower, encourage, and motivate them in their fundraising efforts to help the school with her development needs for bursaries, for the upkeep and maintenance of the school, for modernization and state-of-the-art facilities, and for the advancement of curriculum. We ask you to bless all our generous donors and sponsors. We thank and praise you, God. We pray for our principal, Dushiti Sidharan. Lord, we ask that you continue to watch over Dushi, to strengthen and guide her, and to grant her wisdom to make Chinukli continue to stand firm in its foundations. We pray for the staff of the school. May they serve the school in true Christian spirit. We pray for the board of management, for Subhatra Francis, the newly appointed development officer, for the Church Missionary Society, for the clergy and the American diocese, so that they may manage and make decisions according to your will. We pray for timely and wise succession planning and implementation, that we see the school grow and flourish, and see many more generations of Jaffna girls walk through its portals. We thank and, and praise you, Lord God. We pray for the students, present and future, that they will walk in the ideals of Chundikuli, absorbing lifelong learning that will enable them to have skills to adapt to the rapid changes around them. May they enjoy peace, good health, and be proud of their alma mater. May they always sing, forward be our watchword, steps and voices join. Seek the things before us, not a look behind. We ask these most humbly in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank and praise you, O Lord.